Okay, so Valentine's Day is four days away. That's right, four days. That's it. You don't have very long at all. So if you have not put in anything together for your loved ones, you might want to consider go ahead and doing that. <laughs> so this is going to be a last minute gift guide for people like me. <laughs> I am the worst at procrastinating and putting things off until the very last second, which I have successfully done this Valentine's Day. So I want to give you guys some gift ideas, mainly for guys, but you know, I'm going to throw in a couple for girls and all that too. Um, my boyfriend and I, just a quick rundown, have been together for about three and a half years. So Valentine's Day, we spent a couple of them together, so that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, so I've experienced quite a few different gifts and all that and I know which ones I've loved the best so I just want to tell you guys on my opinion of what I love receiving as a present and if you're actually wanting to buy a gift for someone and I know another thing is a lot of people are like I don't have a boyfriend I can't celebrate Valentine's Day and all that okay well let me just tell you you can why because like for instance, my family has always celebrated Valentine's Day. Like, and even when I didn't have a boyfriend or anything like that, I remember coming home from school and there'd be a little box of chocolates on my pillow or whatever, and I always thought that was so sweet. So things like that have stuck in my head forever. I have never forgotten them, and I just absolutely adored that my parents did that. So. Um, you know, you can give something to your mom, your dad, your mm, your grandma, your brother, whoever. <laughs> so there are so many people out there that don't have to be your boyfriend for you to love them, you know? Valentine's Day is about telling people that you love them. So, I mean, I personally do not tell my loved ones that I love them nearly as much as I should. So Valentine's Day is a time that I really want to tell them, hey, you know what? I really love you. You mean the entire world to me, you know, and just let them know how much they are appreciated and let them be acknowledged for all the hard work that they do and all that, you know, because that alone means the entire world to somebody. Like my grandmother, I always get her a gift. I always get her like a little something, like a little candle or something and a card and all that. And that alone just means the entire world to her, you know. So even if you don't have a boyfriend, you don't have to be down and sad and don't want to celebrate and all that. You still can. Tell your loved ones how much they mean to you because you never know when they're not going to be around anymore, you know? So, um, but anyways, back on topic, a couple of gifts that I have received that I have been like, ah, over and just absolutely loved are, I am a big fan of jewelry. I love Jewelry, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Particularly necklaces, I really love necklaces. I pretty much wear the same ring every day, so I really don't experiment too much with rings. But as far as necklaces go, I love them. So I wanted to show you guys a couple different jewelry places where you could go if you're looking to get your girlfriend or your significant other or whatever a nice piece of jewelry. Um, two of my favorite places are Tiffany and & Company and Juice Couture. So these are really, really good places to go if you want to get jewelry that is not hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, that's something that's, you know, really good quality but not going to break your bank. <laughs> you know, like this juicy necklace. I'm actually wearing the one that came in this little box here. This is their Valentine's Day collection, which is brand new. This is really, really new. It, I just got it a couple of weeks ago. And don't ask why, because I needed to exchange a different piece that I got from them that I didn't care for, and I ended up picking up this because it's new and I thought it was really, really cool, and it's kind of a different style than their normal ones. So, um, yeah, average price on this, about $50 to $60, which you can also get their jewelry on sale very often. They always have discount codes or anything like that, so definitely keep your eyes out for one of those. And like at my local Juicy Couture, they always have like a clearance section that always has, you know, jewelry or anything like that in it. That's also a good place to look. So if you don't have a whole lot of money to spend, you know, they still have decently priced stuff where you don't have to spend a fortune on it. This is actually one of their more expensive pieces, which was kind of crazy to me because I was like, oh man, that's $60? Wow. But, you know, it's really, really cute and it's worth it and I think it's fun. So, and like I said, I was exchanging something, so it's, you know, different situation. But anyways, so 
Another place is Tiffany & Company, which a lot of people are like, oh gosh, it's way too expensive, you know, I can never afford that, and all that. Well, okay, their sterling silver jewelry is one of my favorites. I actually have a charm bracelet that has different charms on it from there that my boyfriend has gotten me over time. During all the holidays, he'd get me a little charm, basically. So my charm bracelet is pretty much full, and he got me a chain as well. So what you do is you take your charms off your charm bracelet and put it on your chain and you can wear it as a necklace, which I love that. I wear them almost every day and I think they are amazing, you know, and they're really great quality. I haven't had any problems with them. And if you do have a problem with it, the customer service and Tiffany and company is outstanding. If you have a problem, they will fix it no matter what. Um, so that's really cool. But yeah, so this piece, I don't know if you guys can see this without me zooming in, but like this one is two hearts together. It's got the normal Tiffany and company little logo, and then it's got this little blue guy on there, this little blue heart, which I think is so cute. So it's got those two hearts together, and it comes with a nice chain and all that. And price rise on that, it is about $125, and that is also still available on their website, which I got that quite a while ago, but it is still on there. So bonus if you guys want to spend a little over $100, but under $150, Tiffany & Company is a really, really, really good place to look for really high quality good jewelry. Those are my two favorite places that I just adore their jewelry. And yeah, so my next thing that I have been obsessed with is perfume, which is really odd because I've never really been one that's been in love with perfumes or needing a whole bunch of different smells, but this smell is amazing to me. And I know some people like it, some people don't, but this is the Flower Bomb perfume, which I got this from Nordstrom, and this is also their little Valentine's Day kit, which it comes with the actual flower bomb perfume it comes with a body wash and a body lotion so that's really cool because the normal price on this is 105 and you get the entire box for 105 so you basically get those two things for free which i think is really really cool and it comes this really fun little heart shaped box so if you want to get somebody a nice perfume Flower Bomb is really awesome, and the person working in Nordstrom told me that it's their number one rated fragrance, which I thought that was kind of cool, so I had never smelled it before. I was just in there smelling their perfumes, and I was like, wow, this is nice. <laughs> so there's a lot of really good perfumes out right now, so I'm not completely familiar with price ranges on those, but I know that was 105 so if you want to base it off that, there you go. I know there's cheaper ones out there, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a $100 bottle of lotion or bottle of perfume. Just keep your eyes out and find something a little cheaper if you don't want to spend that much. Any girl, I think, would love perfume. And I know Sephora, around the holidays, does like this little sample kit where you get all these little vials of perfume that you could try out. And then you take a coupon in and you can exchange it for a full full-size bottle of perfume, which I thought that was really cool. I don't know if they still have that, but if they do, something worth checking out. Um, yeah, so those are a couple of my gift ideas as far as a guy giving to a girl goes. As far as a girl giving to a guy, um, my boyfriend has been into like ties and business attire and all that. So Jeff, if you're watching this, turn it off. Cut it off. We're not watching it. <laughs> I'm about to tell you what you're getting for Valentine's Day. But anyways, um, <laughs> nobody tell him. Okay, so what I'm getting him, I'm going to get him a couple of ties and a couple of little dress shirts, which I think that's awesome, and I know that he'll really like that. And I'm going to express for those, which they are a little more expensive, which is kind of above my budget, but that's okay. I figured it's the last holiday for a little while, so I'll save up until the next one, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get him a couple of those for work that he can wear around or whatever. He's been really liking that style of clothing, so I wanted to get him a couple more pieces for his clothing, um, little wardrobe or whatever. So that's what I'm getting him, and you know, I'll get him a couple little odds and ends too, like a nice card and stuff like that. I'll probably cook dinner too, unless we go out to dinner. I know last year we went out to dinner and went to a blues game since I live in St. Louis, which that was awesome. We were on the kiss cam, so like the giant camera that's up in front of the ice in the middle and everything. We were on it. We're like, <laughs> just kidding. It wasn't like that. We were both so scared. Like it came on us, and we're like, uh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> something like that. So, um, yeah, that was really fun. But, you know, you can always cook dinner for your significant other. Surprise them with that if they're working and they're coming home. Surprise them with a nice cooked dinner. And another thing that I am doing, which... Um, I hope it's a good surprise as long as I get up early enough. He works in the morning, so I'm going to get up and cook him like heart-shaped pancakes and stuff, which I think that's going to be so fun. So um, that's an idea too, you know, cook dinner or whatever, so then you don't have to go out to dinner, and sometimes that can be a little bit cheaper. So if you're trying to watch your money or anything like that, cooking dinner for your significant other is a good idea. Um, a couple other ideas that I was going to tell you guys. Homemade gifts are just to die for. If a guy makes you a gift, it's like, oh my gosh, you actually thought about me? Wow, that was really sweet of you. You know, and it just means the entire world to a girl. So if a guy gives her a gift that he has actually sat down and thought about, that is going to mean way more than anything else to a girl. So something that I suggest um, as far as crafts go with easy crafts is you can take a jar and I would call it the I love you jar and what you can do is take a jar decorate it all fun and cute on the outside you know whatever you want to do with it something that your girl would like and then take a piece of scrapbook paper which the piece that I have this is actually from Target and it's from the dollar section and this was a dollar for a whole pack of these little fun designs of paper and you know the front page is kind of all crazy and patterned and then the back is plain so what you can do is cut out little squares out of this and on the back side where it's plain just write little miscellaneous things about the person that you love so like I love your smile you know I loved when we went on the date to the movies our first date or whatever just like memories anything things that you love about that person anything and I think that that would be a and I think that that would be a really, really awesome gift. So if you want to get somebody that and just put all of your little pieces of paper into the jar and have it all decorated and then give that as your gift, like that would be a really inexpensive gift and that would be a really thoughtful gift. So something like that. And that's a very universal gift. So that can go for girls, for guys, for whatever. So that was my idea with the little jar and I thought that would be so cute. Um, so guys, you know, go out and be creative. Get your girl something that she's going to know that you actually took the time to think about her and not just went to the store and tried to pick something out that you're like, oh yeah, that's fine. You know, take the time to actually think about what would she like. Like, I mean, I like even phone cases. Like, a cute phone case would be cool. Or, you know, just a cute decoration for my room or like a picture frame with a picture of me and my boyfriend in it that my boyfriend put together or whatever. I think that would be so sweet to receive as a gift. I think that would just be so, so nice. So, um, you know, even if you're not wanting to spend a whole lot of money on gifts, you can do something that is going to mean the entire world to a girl, such as creating something that, you know, you actually took the time to think about the person with. So, and you don't have to do that. Like I said, you don't have to do that for just your boyfriend or girlfriend. Do it for one of your family members. Do your whole family of memories that you guys have together or anything like that. So, those are a couple of ideas that I've had. Um, I will link in the bottom bar a couple different ones that I found. I saw one online with all these strawberries that it would be really, really easy to make. You just make your chocolate strawberries like normal, the little chocolate covered ones, and take like a skewer, like you would cook a shish kebab on, and take that and you like flip the strawberry upside down so that the bigger part is on the bottom and pop the little skewer up into it and so they're all like standing up with a little triangle it's like a triangle shape and then you can take a little um vase or jar or anything and put a little piece of styrofoam into it and then poke all the little sticks down into it so then you can kind of arrange them all at different heights so then your chocolate covered strawberries will be all like staggered and they're coming out of the vase and i thought that would be so cool so that's a really cool idea too so i hope that these kind of got your minds going on some gift giving ideas for valentine's day I love Valentine's Day. I love all the hearts and all the lovey stuff. I think it's so fun. So even if you don't have a significant other, I mean, <laughs> go and tell somebody else that you love them because like I said, odds are you probably don't tell them enough. And you know, it could be tomorrow when they're gone. So don't forget to tell somebody how much you love them because that alone could make somebody's day a thousand times more brighter. So just use the day to tell everybody how much they mean to you, and I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. 
if you guys have any suggestions for me as far as gifts that you're giving to your family members or anything like that, leave them down below because I really want to know. What are you guys getting? Your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mom's, your dad's, anything. What are you guys getting them? Um, I love the holiday. I think it's fun. So it's not meant to be anything crazy or serious or anything. Just enjoy it. So enjoy being with your significant other and yeah, just love every second of it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't know where it's at, so I'm going to point to both corners. Um, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe, comment, like this video, give it a thumbs up, say hey, good idea. Thank you so much. I'm going to go buy my girlfriend this right now. I don't know. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will talk to all of you guys in my next video and have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye guys.